Hello, welcome to my latest tutorial. Today I want to talk to you about smart proxies. Um, smart proxies are basically um, a copy of an original video file, normally a large file, um, which gives the user a better experience when editing their files. Um, this works well mainly with high definition and large files, you wouldn't really need to do it with a small file. So uh, to start off I'm going to show you how to enable smart proxy. Um, normally it's already uh, defaulted to enabled but if it hasn't then you can go to the smart proxy manager there are two ways of doing it the first way is here you can just untick or tick that to enable it or disable it the second way is by going down to settings and again it's just here so you can disable and enable um, you can choose when you want the um, software to create a proxy, so it's defaulted to 720 by 576, but you can choose it to whatever you want, um, and you can also choose where you want the proxy to save to. Um, mine's just in E my documents. <laughs> you can put it to wherever you want, C my videos wherever you want, um, and you can also set it to automatically generate a proxy template. Um, but that's just the basics. Um, so you can OK that if you if you're happy to enable it. It should be, like I said, um, done by default. Um, secondly, I want to show you how to on here. I want to show you how to um, use the Smart Proxy File Manager and the Smart Proxy Queue Manager. So basically, you add your video to the timeline. You right click and you click Create Smart Proxy File. Um, you take the video, the videos that you want to add. I've only got one because I've only got one video file. But if you want to add more, then you can. Uh, then you click OK. I've already done this, but I, I can still give you an idea. So you go to Smart Proxy Manager and then the Smart Proxy Queue Manager. Now, because mine's already um, loaded the video, it's not doing it now. But if you're doing it, you go onto here and you'll see that it'll be creating the video here. And then when that's done, you can click OK. Go back on Settings, Smart Proxy File Manager, and it's appeared here. So you can see that it's running it in a smaller file size, but it's still the same video. So it's just, like I said, um, it gives the user a better experience while editing their videos. So if you don't want your videos in there anymore, you can tick the box or select all if you want quite a few and then you can delete the selected proxy files. I hope this video has helped you and if you've got any videos that you want me to make then feel free to comment in this video.